Hello and welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks so much for watching, y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my day ones, twos, and threes. Thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you and welcome, welcome, welcome. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So everything is alleged, some is not. And the fair act use is in my description box, y'all. So let's get to it. Let's get to it. So, y'all, Nicki Minaj is shutting down all of the accusations, okay, y'all, about, you know, the ex-assistant. So, I'm starting to wonder some things now, y'all. Y'all know my, you know, that little wheel gets to turning in my head. <laughs> I'm starting to wonder some things right now because um, I hear she got a lot of little projects that she's working on right now, okay? And I'm wondering, you know... I want y'all to pay attention to, you know, Carly B, they, that little incident with her and Kanye and all this stuff and Nikki calling them out on their stuff and everything, okay? And y'all know Beyonce hate for the share the attention with other people, so we all know that she be on some hating against other artists, okay? But I want to say this, Nicki Minaj came forward and she's saying that, you know, this woman is lying on her. So it making me think, you know, are they trying to blackball Nicki Minaj, y'all? Ask yourself this question, okay? Every time new artists pop up on the scene and this and that and that and this, you know, they seem to all take their little sides on who team they own and all of that stuff. It's just like when Young Thug came along and all of a sudden, all of a sudden they all was against Lil Wayne. But at first everybody was so crazy about Lil Wayne. But then these new artists pop up and then they want to pull the attention from, you know, legends that's already been there in the first place. Okay? And I just want y'all to pay attention to, you know, there was a reason that Lil Thug wanted Lil Wayne out the way, y'all. It's a lot of these artists and labels is doing this. They are moving other people out the way just so they can stay relevant, which is room for everybody. I keep saying that. It's room for everybody. Okay? And um, I'm starting to feel like they're trying to maybe blackball Nikki. Some of the stuff I was reading when I put that video up, I was even doubting some of that stuff when I was reading it. Because I was like, hat in the world, because she owed 170 something million dollars. And she haven't even made 176 million dollars worth of taxes, <laughs> y'all. You talking about billionaire probably taxes. That didn't even make any sense. So I, that's why I was like, some of the stuff don't make any sense. Now, a lot of people were saying on their page that some of the stuff was true and some of it ain't that, you know, he do be putting paws on her and this and that and, that and this. But if we ain't seen Nikki wouldn't, you know, her face ain't been looking like Ari's, then we have to question that too, Okay. Um, in a video shared to social media this week, Nikki spoke out about the claims that recently made the rounds, um, after being shared by an Instagram account re reporting, um, to be operated by a former assistant. The account carried the username Kate Miller dash seven underscore seven. Okay. And has since been removed with an associate profile picture having since been revealed to have actually been a photo of a notable author and not this claim Kate Miller individual. So if they remove the picture y'all okay and the person that they say it was is not that person then most likely nine times out of ten this was a fake account made up. Now, actually, some people are saying that she did this. This don't make no sense. Why would she put information out here just to get some attention? And it's, you know, talking about her and her man like that, y'all. Who wants their, you know, dirt like that put out? Who wants their dirt like that put out? Period. They're saying that, oh, she did this because, 
you know, she wanted some attention because she got this, you know, little six part series coming out and she's doing it for attention. And then I've been hearing y'all, I, you know, I've been, you know, how you glimpse stuff and you kind of ignore it because people were saying that, you know, her little, her six part series, they, this is what they were saying. Don't, don't, don't quote me and say, oh, I'm saying her little this, that, but people was like her little series is, um kind of like you know ghetto or whatever it's not professionally done it looked you know like it was cheaply made this is the stuff that they're coming out with and you gotta wonder are they trying to blackball her okay y'all and you know i'm not for people just ganging up on somebody picking on them i i do not like that at all um i'm not feeling it so I had to jump back on here and say something about the video that I had put out too, okay? That, you know, she is saying that that's not her assistant. And now, as you see, you know, I'm reading a report about the, the whole little video that was put up. Now it has been deleted all of a sudden, okay, y'all? And the person that they were saying that it really was is not even that person. Okay. In the IG clip scene, um, you know, I'm looking at something. Nikki is, has, is first simply mocking addressing the claims, which included unfolding remarks about owing money, family, and more. Because, um, and she started laughing. She's laughing at everything right now. So... It seems as if, and I'm gonna just, I'm just saying who I think it is. I think it's another artist that got some of their like little fans or whatever that got together to do this, to just try to make her look bad or whatever. And then for the turning around and say she did it for herself so she can get some little publicity going and this and that and, that and this. So I'm starting to believe that they're trying to blackball her, y'all. Okay, um, I'm gonna do the numbers on Nicki Minaj just to see if it's anything like past tense coming up with her name and stuff like that because that's what usually is put out on this you know numerology stuff it's already in the making if it's you know comes up under their names and stuff like that and it kind of like lets you know some things now i did peep a few things that i saw you know, I haven't finished with it, but I did peep some stuff that leads to Beyonce and them, y'all. That's popping up under Nicki Minaj's stuff, okay, y'all? So, I'll probably be putting that out. But, I'm going to also tell y'all this before I put that out. Um, before Nicki Minaj name changed, Petty, her last name, uh, it wasn't a lot of past tense coming up. Okay, wasn't a lot of past and stuff coming up under her name, but when her name changed from Nicki Minaj to you know whatever her last name was before Minaj Mirage or something like that, um, when it changed to Patty, then that's when the um past tense started popping up. So I'm wondering, you know, did they have a problem with her getting married? And this is why the industry started tripping and turning on her now because maybe she's not, you know, around certain people the way she used to be before she got married. You know what I'm saying, y'all? Maybe her and her husband is in their own little bubble and they not really being bothered with other artists that, and they getting, you know, they're feeling some type of way about it. Nicki Minaj is worth a lot of money, y'all. Okay? And she's pretty. And people seem like they're jealous of her. To be honest with y'all, I'm just going to say it like it is. People seem like they're jealous of her. Just like they was jealous of Aaliyah. Okay? They was jealous of Aaliyah out here when she was doing her thing. A Aaliyah hit, you know, the music scene by storm, y'all. And not only was she a good singer, she was a good actor, too. Aaliyah just fell into roles. And it was, she just came out shining every time. And a lot of people are jealous of stuff like that. And a lot of people say, you know, word on the street is, you know, Aaliyah was taken out. It wasn't no little accident that they over, you know, packed the, you know, the plane or whatever. They're saying that she was, you know, legitimately taken out, y'all. 
So I don't know. I don't know. But if you got je people jealous of you out here on the streets and you ain't balling like this, I can only imagine having the money that Nicki Minaj has and, you know, the backlash that she get. You know, you're always compared to other artists. They're always trying to compare her to Carly B. They're always trying to compare them. Every time somebody new come out, oh, they're comparing this person to that person. If you're good, you're good. You don't have to be compared to everybody if you are already good. It don't have to be a comparison. Everybody had their own style. That's the that's the good part about it. And I, I, I feel the love of me. I just don't understand why all of them, why it's not enough room for everybody. Why is it such a big deal for everybody to be acting like, oh, this person has to be out the way for me to make it. I don't understand it. But, you know, this is what is going on. And this is what, you know, they're feeling in everybody's head about takeovers and this and that and that and this. And that's the dumbest thing that they came up with, the takeover. You know, because like I said, it's enough room for everybody. They don't. It, it shouldn't have to be a takeover. Why do you have to take over other pe people artists? Why do you have to take over other labels? Why do certain people have to be taken out for other people to rise? If that's the case, then you don't have the talent that you think you have in the first place, y'all. I'm just saying, okay? But I just wanted to throw a video up and let you all know that um, it's, it's coming out now that this, you know, fake assistant story and all of this stuff could have been made up and all that. And, um, or it seemed like it was because all of a sudden now the video was taken down. Okay, y'all? So we took it with a grain of, you know, salt in the first place over here. Okay, we still talked about it because everybody was talking about it on YouTube. Okay, everybody was talking about it. But if you go back to my video, I was like, I don't know about that one. I was saying that when I was, you know, talking about this stuff. Okay, and all in other little extra details, we wouldn't know that stuff. We wouldn't know if that stuff is true or not. But when they talked about the taxes part, I was like, I don't know about this. That, that seemed like they reaching right there. Okay, y'all. So anyway, um, I just wanted to make sure I put my video up to let, you know, people know that that was a lie, y'all. That was a whole bald face lie. And if it wasn't, they wouldn't have erased that video in the first place. They have erased the video, took the video down and all kind of stuff. Okay, y'all. So um, pay attention, y'all. Pay attention. You know, when people start doing stuff like this, that's, that's some jealousy. That's some jealousy that you'll take the time out the day to sit back and think about what can I do to, you know, cause an uproar in her life, try to make her look bad and this and that. And they sit back and they put all of those posts together. And now they're, you know, running back, taking it down. Okay, y'all. So I just wanted to let y'all know that, you know, I do believe that they are trying to blackball Nikki, just like with her doing the song with, you know, Kanye. And pay attention to who Kanye deal with. Kanye deal with mob ties them, okay, y'all? Pay attention to, you know, the people that's in a group together. In this little group, okay? Uh, Cardi B and her little crew. There, She's with everybody that's for um, a lot of chaos that's going on right now, okay? A lot of stuff that, you know, bodies dropping and stuff like that type of news. You know, she's in that little bubble, over there now Nicki Minaj I'm not gonna lie when she came out she was doing some suspect stuff okay but a lot of these artists feel like they have to do certain things for the you know get their foot in the door because remember when she came to the wars with the little red riding hood hoodie on and all that stuff and she was looking like she was ascended in the air on the stage like you know the you know the exorcist and all that stuff and she came to the wars with the Pope and all of that stuff you know a lot of people think that they have to do these things when they start, you know, getting into the industry. Look at Rihanna. She did a lot of stuff like this when she started getting into the industry and stuff. And all this one eye symbolism and all of this stuff. And look how she has grown. You know, she didn't get away from even doing music, period. And she's making more money now than she was before. 
when she was when she started and started doing the music. She's not even doing music anymore. And look how she then became a billionaire, okay, y'all? So you do not have to sell your soul to just stay relevant, okay? Rihanna is a perfect example of that, okay? Nicki Minaj, I don't know if things are going to change for her and her music. I don't know if things are going to change and she started putting out a positive, you know, music or stuff like that or is she going to continue to go into that route of you know demonic stuff i don't know if she's going to do that but she's a mother now so you know you like i told y'all usually when somebody have kids it changes them if it don't change you then nine times out of ten a lot of people that's already you know bad they get worse either you're going to get better or you're going to get worse and as you can see beyonce has gotten worse okay she didn't have kids and her main thing is still to put out music to you know destroy the youth this is what her whole thing is about so i'm i'm you know i think it's going to be interesting to see which stars start going into a, a positive direction instead of all this demonic stuff since they have kids now that's going to be very important you know, Carly B jumps on social media and she acts as if, you know, she hates the stuff that she's doing and this and that and that and this. And then she turn around and do it over again. Then she laugh in everybody's face. And she's the perfect example of, you know, some people don't have a guilty conscience at all. She's just playing games and pretending like she care about people, but she really don't, y'all. And Carly B, she's gonna roll, she's gonna run with this mess as long as they let her. She's gonna run with this, uh, this demonic stuff and the street association stuff. She's gonna keep running with this stuff. She feel like she this is what she have to do to make it. You can tell she got a little screws missing. The fact that, you know, she act as if before that she was gonna stand on off offset, you know, he bet not cheat on her no more. <laughs> she was gonna leave him for good. And now he got her out here picking them for him, you know. So, you know, the, only the strong is going to survive when it comes to all of this stuff in the first place, y'all. And I do believe that Nikki is a dip, different type, okay. She's a different type. I do believe, I'm going to say this personally, I think she's a different type. I think she did what she had to do in the beginning. I think that she just might switch things up, y'all. I really do. So I'm, um, you know, I'm gonna give her her props. I'm gonna still, I'm gonna give her her flowers, because I do believe that somebody's trying to sabotage her career. I think somebody, you know, they want to see her fail. I don't want to see her fail. I really don't. I think she's very talented. I love her flow. You know, when she's doing her thing, I like her flow. I just don't like the message that they're putting out for the kids. But, you know. If there's going to be a change since she's a mama now, I would welcome that. Okay, y'all? So, I wanted to jump on here and just correct my video. Of You know, it wasn't really much to correct. I was just reading over those posts and saying, you know, what I thought about it. Some of the stuff I didn't know what they was talking about. But some of the stuff that I did recognize, I, I did say, and that don't make no sense. Okay, y'all? So, yeah, she's coming out saying that it's false. Okay, y'all? And I cannot wait to see her little series. Her series, y'all. Let me stop saying little because I'm copying off somebody else saying. I can't wait to see her series to see how it's going to turn out, y'all. And give it a chance. Don't just go by somebody saying, oh, it looked like, you know, it was cheaply made and this and that and that and this. Just because somebody else saying it. Check it out for yourself, okay? Because some movies that's cheaply made, people still like it. Okay, it's a lot of old school movies that they did not put a lot of money into, but they turned out to be some really good movies. Okay, y'all? So, anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks so much for watching, y'all.